When I came up from Los Angeles to audition for Metallica, um, the first, it was a two-day audition. The first day was, um, was more fly on the wall, you know, show up at 11, you just basically hang out in the studio at the headquarters. And sometimes it was awkward because Bob Rock had already recorded bass and he's also producing St. Anger. So I'm sort of there watching guitar tracks go down and, and, uh, and you know, and just hanging out. It's a long day, 11 o'clock till 11 at night it was. So 11, 11 o'clock in the evening rolls around. Um, Lars, our drummer, is uh, getting ready to leave, getting in his car. I'm getting in my car in the parking lot at, at the headquarters. And he says, you know, hey, let's go get a drink. And I'm like, OK. At the time, I could, I could hold my own, I think, you know, with a few beers. We end up drinking till 5 in the morning. And I got to play the next day at 9. Well, we got to be there. Um, I believe it was around, so like 10 o'clock in the morning or something. So I've had very little sleep. I've got the worst hangover of my life. And, and I've got to play music with Metallica, you know? And James is sober. He's, he's gone through, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, what's it called? Rehab, this whole thing. So it was a very heavy time. And I just felt like a loser. I mean, I was like, what am I doing? I'm in pain, I'm, you know? And I think Lars was probably testing me to see, you know, how much I could handle. Um, a lot of people say, you know, were you hazed at all in the process, like what happened with, with Jason Newstead? And the truth is, is there wasn't time for me to be, to go any through any hazing process when I had officially joined the band. I think it happened that night, you know, after the first day of, of the audition process. So we get into the second day, hungover. I'm going in the bathroom, throwing water on my face, slapping myself, you know, tempted to tell the guys I'm really sick. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can you know, audition. And uh, so I decided I would go and connect with the bass tech, Zach Harmon, our, my bass tech now, uh, Metallica's bass tech. And I would decide what bass I was going to use and what amp. And I just sort of found this you know, Stingray, you know, uh, instrument and this amp over here. But really what I was trying to do was trying to get away from, from the core of the band in Hetfield because I didn't want them to smell the alcohol on me and realize how screwed up I was. Um, anyway, we, we had a lot of fun. We ended up playing Battery and uh, um, I forget what other songs. Sandman might have been in that mix along with uh, Sad But True. Um, Anyway, it was interesting because it was very short notice. I think I was in Tahiti on Thursday, and uh, I flew into San Francisco on Saturday for a, bike, a birthday party. And by mo Monday, I was hanging in the studio with Metallica and jamming with them by Tuesday. So it's an interesting story. We were all pirates back then, and uh, you know maybe we, we're uh, we're a little less uh, crazy on that sense, but. You never know.